Mattia Bonotto, fired. Maurizio Arriva Brene, fired. Italian Stevie Wonder, fired. Stefano Domenicali, resigned. Jean Todd, French. These are the last five Ferrari team principals. Jean Todd was the best, and Mattia Bonotto was the worst, statistically speaking. Do you know what that means, statistically? It means because numbers. Let me explain. Mattia Bonotto was the team principal from 2019 to 2022. Four seasons, and in that time, Ferrari won seven races and no world championships. That's embarrassing. Maurizio Arriva Brene was the team principal from 2015 to 2018. Four seasons, and in that time, Ferrari won 14 races and no world championships. Twice as many wins as Bonotto in the same amount of time, less embarrassing, but still shit. And then we have Italian Stevie Wonder, also known as Marco Mattiacci. He don't really count because he was only team principal for seven months and was only there as a bit of a seat filler. But in those seven months, not only did Ferrari win nothing, he fell out with Fernando Alonso, causing him to leave and go to McLaren. Fernando, this is the future. It's a terrible move. Then we have Stefano Domenicali. 2008 to 2014, six seasons, 20 wins and one world championship. Not bad. However, it should have been two world championships, but they threw that away at the Singapore Grand Prix when Ferrari did what they do best and f***ed up a pit stop. Not great, but still better than the last two. And then we have Jean Todd, 1993 to 2007, 15 seasons, 98 wins, 13 world championships, including six drivers and seven constructors titles. That's what we're f***ing talking about. Not only did Jean Todd win everything to the point where it was taking the piss, he was the guy that convinced Michael Schumacher to join Ferrari. Can you see a pattern emerging here? Ferrari has gone from Ristorante to Goodfellas to Pizza Hut Nothing But Stuff Crust to Chicago Town, and now they've reached rock bottom, Tesco's Everyday Value Cheese and Tomato. Otherwise known as an Italian hate crime, Pavarotti would be spinning in his grave. <laughs> So, obviously, they fired Mattia Bonato, but the way that they did it was very Italian. In the days leading up to the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, the season finale, a rumour spread around that Mattia Bonato was getting fired. When he was asked about it, he said, I'm not concerned, everything is fine, you're talking shit. His words. Ferrari themselves put out a statement saying, in relation to speculation in certain media regarding blah 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 blah, these rumours are totally without foundation. My life on. Five days after the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, another rumour came out that Bonotto was getting fired, but this time it was a serious rumour. Like, for reals. Trust me, bro. I swear down on me nan's grave type of rumour. And, sure enough, four days later, Ferrari announced Mattia Bonotto is Tiffock. So, now the question is, why did they fire him? Well, last year, I made a video counting up how many points Ferrari had thrown away because of bad strategy, stupid decisions, driver mistakes, or terrorism. And it worked out to be 123 points, and that was halfway through the season. More specifically, after the French Grand Prix, where Charles Leclerc f***ed into the barriers while he was leading the race, and Ferrari made a complete twat of Carlos Sainz's pit stop. Carlos Sainz has got a five-second time penalty. After the race, when Mattia Bonotto was asked why he was doing such a shit job, he said, There's no reason why Ferrari can't win the remaining ten races of the season and save its championship hopes. That seems ambitious. But, alright, there's 10 races left in the season, that's plenty of time to turn the championship around. And apparently, there's no reason why Ferrari can't win all 10 races. D do you want to take a guess at how many races Ferrari won after he said that? 10? 8? 5? None! Zero! Fuck all. In fact, after the French Grand Prix, things got even worse. At the next race in Hungary, they threw away a victory because of a dumb strategy. They were so off the pace at the Mexican Grand Prix, they finished 58 seconds off the lead. And by the time they got to the season finale in Abu Dhabi, both championships had fallen away and Charles Leclerc barely hung on to second, despite leading the championship by 36 points earlier in the season. <laughs> 
So Ferrari started the 2022 season with the fastest car on the grid, and at one point they were leading both championships comfortably, but then through a series of mistakes, bad strategy, miscommunication, finger waving, and just a general what the actual fuck are you playing at, they threw both championships away. That's why Bonotto got fired. But now things are about to change, because this is the new Ferrari team principal. Fred Vasseur. He's French, and that's literally all that matters. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. The last time Ferrari was genuinely incredible, there was a French man in charge. Well, guess what? Now there's a French man in charge. The last time Ferrari won the Constructors' Championship, the global economy crashed, and we plunged into a financial crisis. Well, guess what? We're about to plunge into a financial crisis. It's gonna happen. The last time Ferrari won the Drivers' Championship was at the height of the Iraq War. Oil prices went through the roof, causing an energy crisis. Well, guess what? Russia is currently being a pure dick, causing an energy crisis, and people are freezing to death in their own homes. Yes! I don't mean, yes, people are freezing to death in their own homes. I mean, yes, it seems like it's going to be Ferrari's year. Yay. But you know what? If that's what it takes for Ferrari to be world champions again, I don't care. Let people freeze. Let the global economy crash. Let the banks go under. Let there be anarchy in the streets. Let Vladimir Putin blow up Europe and plunge everybody into a nuclear holocaust. Let the world burn. Fred Vassar is going to walk into the factory, 9 o'clock, Monday morning, slam his cock on the table and say, listen boys, there's a new sheriff in town, and his name is me. <laughs> <laughs>